Hi, I'm Alessia from Ref and Write. In this video, I will teach you how to install and use Ref and Write on Google Docs. If you still haven't installed Ref and Write software, you can sign up using the link in the description below. Let's move on to the tutorial. Let's first install Ref and Write. Go to Google Docs and open a blank document. Go to Add-ons and press Get Add-ons. Type Ref and Write and search. Click on the Ref and Write add-on and press Install. Provide necessary permissions for the add-on. Add-on has been installed successfully. Now Ref and Write will appear under Add-ons. Now press the Start button to load the add-on. Click to get started. Now you have to activate the add-on. Go to Menu, Account. Now enter the email address and license code. Press the Activate button to activate the add-on. Let's look at the search and plagiarism features of Ref and Write. Before you can use these features, you must first import documents in the dashboard. If you try to search without importing documents, you will get this error because the dashboard is empty. Let's go to Dashboard. You can import documents into six libraries. Let's go to Settings. You can rename the libraries into something more meaningful in Settings. Let's call Library 1 Reference since I will be importing previously published documents from other authors. Let's call Library 2 My Docs since I will be importing my own documents. Press Save Settings. Let's go to Dashboard. Let's import some documents into the Dashboard. Now you simply have to drag and drop the files into Dashboard. Press the Import button to import the files into Ref and Write. Ref and Write for Google Docs only supports PDF files, whereas Windows version supports PDF, Word, and text files. Let's import documents into the second library called My Docs. Same as before, drag and drop files and press Import. Now go to Settings. Now you have to specify what libraries to search to display results in search panels 1 and 2. Let's say we want Ref and Write to search the files imported into Reference Library for displaying results in panel 1. And we want Ref and Write to search the files imported into My Docs Library for displaying results in panel 2. Now press Save Settings. Let's go to search. Let's type some text in the document. Now select a piece of text and press the search button. Ref and Write searches the imported documents and the results will be displayed in search panels 1 and 2. The results from the library reference is displayed in panel 1. And the results from the documents imported into My Docs Library is displayed in panel 2. You can expand each search result into a passage by clicking on the title. Ref and Write expands the search result into a passage. It also gives you the exact location of the text in the source document at the bottom. In this case, the passage comes from a document called Anderson2008.pdf and is in the first page. Go to Settings. You can increase the passage size by modifying the Expanded Text Nose field under Settings. This field defines the number of lines in the passage. You can also increase the page limit of the files to be imported here. It is set to 100 pages by default. If you are getting page limit exceeded error, then you can increase the page limit of the imported documents here. Save settings. Let's go back to search. You can also bring up similar statements to a particular search result by pressing the button with three dots next to it. Now let's move on to plagiarism. Let's copy and paste some text into the document. Now let's check for plagiarism. Select the text for which you want to check for plagiarism and click the Check Plagiarism button. The results will appear in the panel. The text highlighted in green doesn't contain plagiarism. If the text is highlighted in red then, it means there is a significant overlap between your text and the text in the imported documents. So you have to rephrase and rewrite your text to reduce plagiarism. Please note, 
Ref and Write only checks for plagiarism against the documents in the library selected in the settings under Search Panel 1 and Search Panel 2. In this case, plagiarism is only checked against the documents in libraries, reference, and my docs. Ref and Write does not check for plagiarism against documents on the web. It only checks local documents imported in the dashboard. Now let's move on to Academic Phrase Bank. Ref and Write comes with a database of 20,000 academic phrases. They are organized into topics and subtopics. You can click on each topic of the phrase bank to bring up subtopics. You can click on the subtopics to bring up phrases that belong to the topic. If you want to bring up more phrases similar to the one in the panel, click the button with three dots next to it. Let's move on to phrase templates and writing ideas. Let's write some text in the document. Select a few words and press the search templates button. Ref and Write will bring up relevant templates. You can use the sample templates to improve your academic writing. Please do not select the entire paragraph. Please choose a few words at a time to get more relevant search results. You can search for writing ideas by selecting a piece of text and clicking the Search Ideas button. This will bring up relevant topics from the phrase bank and help you overcome writer's block. You can click on a topic to bring up phrase templates that belong to that particular topic. Let's move on to paraphrasing tools and rewording tools. Let's type a passage in the document. Select the passage and press the paraphrase button. The results will be displayed in the panel. Ref and Write paraphrases and rewrites the text into academically acceptable format. Further, it also fixes grammatical errors and typos in the text. The changes made to the text will be highlighted in red and green colors. The text with all the corrections applied will be shown right at the top. You can directly copy the text and paste it in the main document. Let's move on to Word Choices tool. Select the passage and press the Word Choices button. Ref and Write will provide word replacement suggestions. You can use these suggestions to improve the academic language of your text. There are various options available in the settings. You can change the font size of the text in the panels. You can change the total number of results to display in the panels. You can change the highlight color. You can also limit the number of results from each imported file. You can define the paragraph size when expanding the search results. You can increase the page limit of the files you are importing into Ref and Write. You can turn off census detection, but it is not recommended to do so, as the search results will be very messy and unformatted. Sentence detection should only be turned off if you are having difficulties importing text from the files. You can specify whether to use synonyms while searching, or you want Ref and Write to search for the exact phrase. You can choose whether to use stop words while searching or not. Stop words are commonly used words, such as prepositions and articles. For more information about these options, you simply have to click on the heading. An information panel will appear with details about the setting. Always press the button Save Settings for the changes you made to take effect. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below and we will answer it as quickly as we can. For your information, there is also an extensive FAQ page on our website. You can also drop us an email at contact at refandwrite.com. We also provide training courses for writing research papers, the links for which can also be found in the description below. Last but not least, please subscribe to the channel to get future updates. Bye!